Okay, next video. Through flow and ground flow. Right, so you've got the river, a meander. We loop over the mud. You can see an embankment there to reinforce the edge of the pathway here. Right, and then normal stuff. Now, interesting feature, the bicycle. Right, what's happened to the bicycle? It's stuck in the mud. Oh, there it goes. Or it was stuck in the mud. Right, you can see how gloopy the mud is. That's because of all the water that's fallen, but this isn't just water from above. You reckon the bike will listen if I say stay? Right. That isn't water from just above falling on top of the land. This is water from coming through. Now, I showed you on the last video with the lines where you can see water comes through. So, water's going through the land and it's coming through off the rail lines, off all around here, and coming through the soil. And yep, the bite just dropped. So, that's through flow when you're looking at the water table. So, the water table will be where, if you look across here, where the how much water is normally in the soil. Now if the water table comes any higher, the water will start pouring into the river because it's coming through the land. Water isn't just in pipes, it comes through. Because if you see, if we got a shovel and dug deep, there'd be loads of water in here because the water tables come up quite high. Yeah? Alright.